what does it mean to say that the limit of x squared as x approaches 2 is 4? Well, strictly speaking, it means that you can make x squared as close as you want to 4 by making x sufficiently close to 2. But talking in that way can be a little bit confusing. So I want to sort of format it here as, as if it were a dialogue. Right? So you're going to make some sort of demand. You're going to demand that x squared be close to 4. Maybe you're going to demand that x squared be within a tenth of 4. Right? So that means you're, you're asking that x squared be between 3.9, 3.9 is a tenth less than 4, and uh, 4.1, which is a tenth more than 4. So you're going to make some demand that the output be close to 4. And I have to satisfy your demand by making x sufficiently close to 2. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to satisfy your demand by stipulating that x be within some small distance of 2. So how close is sufficiently close? Well, in this case, let's make, uh, let's make x be within a hundredth of 2 and see what happens. So if x is within a hundredth of 2, that means that x is uh, bigger than 1.99 and smaller than 2.01. And if x is bigger than 1.99, then x squared is bigger than 3.9601. And if x is smaller than 2.01, then x squared is smaller than 4.0401. And, and now look at these numbers. 3.9601, that is bigger than 3.9. And over here, 4.0401. That's smaller than 4.1. So notice what happened here. If x is within a hundredth of 2, then x is between 1.99 and 2.01. But if x is between 1.99 and 2.01, then x squared is between 3.9601 and 4.0401. And if x squared is bigger than 3.9601, it's bigger than 3.9. And if x squared is smaller than 4.0401, it's smaller than 4.1. So that means demanding that x be within a hundredth of 2, in fact, forces x squared to be between 3.9 and 4.1. In other words, it forces x squared to be within a tenth of 4. So if your demand is that x squared be within a tenth of 4, I can satisfy that demand by simply requiring x to be within a hundredth of 2. Now, I can do the same thing for other demands that you might make. You might have demanded that x squared be within 100 of 4. And I can do that as well. So that would mean that x squared is between 3.99 and 4.01. Well, if x squared, if you want x squared to be between 3.99 and 4.01, I'm going to have to make some condition on how close x has to be to 2. So let's try a thousandth. So if x is within a thousandth of 2, that means that x will be between 1.999 and 2.001. And if x is bigger than 1.999, then x squared is bigger than 3.996001. And if x is less than 2.001, then x squared is less than 4.004001. Now look at these numbers. 3.996001, that is bigger than 3.99. And 4.004001, that is smaller than 4.01. So if x is within a thousandth of 2, that means x is between 1.999 and 2.001. That means that x squared is between 3.996 and 4.004. .004. That makes x squared be between 3.99 and 4.01, which is exactly what you demanded. So this is the structure of, of what it means to say that the limit of x squared is 4 as x approaches 2. It means no matter how close you demand x squared to be to 4, even if this epsilon were replaced by a very tiny number, I'd be able to find some other distance, some number to put here, so that as long as x is that close to 2, then x squared is as close as you wanted to the number 4. So the exercise below asks you to take a look at another situation uh, like this to see if you can figure out a number to put here to satisfy some condition that someone might make on you.